There's a lot of talk these days about illegal immigration and whether these immigrants should be granted citizenship. Well, you might be surprised to learn, but much of the same conversation has occurred for decades among rangeland professionals about certain plants. This is crested wheatgrass. It's a native of Eurasia and is considered an exotic species in North America. Unlike many weedy species, crested wheatgrass was purposefully introduced to the U.S. in the 1930s, mainly in the hope it could be useful in reclaiming rangelands following the Dust Bowl. It's been a major success story in the reclamation context and over the past 75 years has been planted on millions of acres in Wyoming and the West. Crested wheatgrass has many properties that range managers and reclamation folks love. It's easy to establish, greens up early in the spring, and it's extremely hardy and drought tolerant. Still, there are arguments against crested wheatgrass. Some folks say it's overused and crowds out native species, potentially reducing biodiversity. Others say that non-native species should never be recognized as a legitimate and permanent part of our ecosystems. So it's a matter of perspective whether crested wheatgrass is a naturalized citizen or an unwanted invader. From the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, I'm Dallas Mount, exploring the nature of Wyoming.